Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this video where I'm going to be covering the brand new light novels series that are making their debut during the month of May 2021. Uh, there are six titles to be talking about in this video. Of course, if you want to see all the light novels that are releasing during the month of May and beyond, you can head over to EnglishLightNovels.com to the pre-orders page and check out everything that's going to be coming. I'll have a link for that in the description down below. So getting right into it, on May 4th, we have The King of the Dead at the Dark Palace. Uh, this one, actually, funny enough, uh, it's the same author as Defeating the Demon Lords of Cinch, if you have a ringer, as well as Let This Grieving Soul Retire. Woe is the weakling who leads the strongest party. Now, this only has one volume in Japan, and that volume released in 2019. Uh, now, with this author, uh, obviously, we know that they have taken hiatuses from other series to work on other series. I don't think this one's complete. Like, I didn't really see anything that made me think that it's a one-shot. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that there's more to this, but if you have any better ideas on that, let me know down below. The beginning of the end. When a sickly boy succumbs to illness, only to awaken as a lowly undead named End, his initial reaction is not horror, but joy. No longer weak and bedridden, he is eager to experience the freedom of a properly functioning body. Sadly, his delight is cut short when he realizes the shackles of his previous life have simply been replaced by new ones, specifically the powerful necromancer who revived him. To gain true freedom, he'll need to overcome the many obstacles in his way, starting with his dark master. Uh, so yeah, much more of a grim dark fantasy and uh, not a reincarnation story per se, obviously uh, an undead story. Uh, and you know, the, the premise doesn't sound too bad. It could be kind of cool, uh, but as I said, I'm really not too sure what's going on with the status of this series. On May 5th, we get a shoujo title, and it is volume number one of Culinary Chronicles of the Court Flower. Uh, this one is complete in Japan. It had 11 volumes. Rimi has spent most of her life making food for the protector god of the land. She is suddenly sent as a tribute to the great empire of Konkoku, becoming one of the emperor's concubines. She comes close to losing the taste of her home country, but she is saved by the cuisinologist Shusei. As she dreams of a reunion with the kind scholar, she does her best to survive in the envy-filled rear palace with the help of her natural cheerfulness and her skill as a cook. Then, out of nowhere, she is arrested and sentenced to be executed on the charge of disrespecting the emperor how will Rimi get out of this mess? Find out in this China-inspired fantasy story about a princess and her love for food surrounded by gorgeous men. So it sounds like uh, kind of a reverse harem. Uh, uh, definitely like the artwork, the look of the artwork on this one. Um, and, and another China, sort of China-esque inspired light novel much like the apothecary diaries so uh if you're looking for much more of a romance type vibe this might be one to check out this month on may 6th now this is a single one shot release it's actually a movie adaptation and it's coming out as an ebook pre-release it will be released in print on july 13th at least that's the current date and it is called hello world uh, as I said, it's a novel adaptation of the film. Uh, the film was directed by Tomohiko Ito, who directed the first two seasons of Sword Art Online, the anime, as well as Silver Spoon and Erased, among others. And the company who was behind the film, uh, they also produced Expelled from Paradise and the Juni Taisen Zodiac War anime. So if you check those out, it might give you an idea of how this one looks. Naomi, a shy teenage boy, is visited by his future self and tasked with fixing his biggest regret. His classmate and soon-to-be girlfriend, Rudy, is going to be in a terrible accident. This future self, 
knows all about Naomi's past, present, and future, and can tell him just what to do and say in every situation, from a first date to a deadly lightning strike. But does this mysterious man really just want to give Naomi and Ruri a happy ending, or is there something far bigger at stake? I think this sounds very cool. Uh, I don't think the movie has been released officially in English. Um, I mean, when I Googled this and looked at the Wikipedia, there wasn't anything listed for an actual English distributor yet. Uh, it could be it was just out of date. Uh, Seven Seas has licensed both this, which is the novel adaptation, and the manga adaptation as well. On May 20th, uh, we get another ebook pre-release. Uh, this one, the print is currently set to release June 15th. I swear I won't bother you again. Uh, this one, there's currently three volumes out in Japan. It is ongoing. A villainous gets a second chance. Violet, daughter of a duke, committed a terrible, jealous crime against her half-sister. As she languishes in prison, something unexpected happens. Time is rewound, sending her back to the day her problems began. Armed with the memories of her disastrous first go-round, Violet is determined to live a quiet, unobtrusive life this time. But fate has something else in store. So yes, another villainous, another time rewind, uh, a la Tear Moon Empire and a number of others that we've gotten. Um, I... I don't know. I don't. It's a newer series, so I haven't heard too much about it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes these series can be kind of cool. I, especially uh, depending on the take that they have with it. I don't know if this is going to be like a comedy or whether it's much more serious. I'm, I'm not too sure. On May 27th, and again, it's another ebook pre release. This one, the print is currently set to release on July 6th, and that is Volume 1 of Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter. Uh, this series is complete. There are eight volumes. There's also a manga adaptation that's been releasing for a while. There's several volumes available of the manga. Don't know why it took so long for the light novel to get picked up, uh, but I know quite a few people were pretty happy that was the case. A Twist of Fate Iris Amelia the daughter of a powerful duke, is arrested and forced to her knees in front of her fiancé. Her betrothed, Prince Edward, is rejecting her for another woman. As Iris's life flashes before her eyes, she suddenly realizes she knows exactly what's coming next, because she has been reincarnated into her favorite Otome game as its villainous. Quick thinking saves her from exile, but Iris can't rest yet. If she wants to survive this world that sees her as wicked, she'll have to change the world itself. Uh, so yeah, another villainous Otome reincarnation story. Although I've heard some very good things about this one. Uh, so uh, I'd probably give it a shot. I mean, a number of these have been pretty decent. So uh, yeah. I don't know. Are we oversaturated on the villainous isekais yet? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And finally, on May 31st, we get Romance of the Imperial Capital Kotogami, A Tale of Living Alongside Spirits. Now, this is a one-shot release, uh, a retro-modern romantic fantasy set in the age of the Kotogami. After a fearsome beast burns down her company lodgings, Akari finds herself homeless and out of a job. Luckily, the handsome yokai who rescued her from the beast offers her a job as a live-in custodian at a manor in the city. Needing a safe place to sleep, Akari accepts Tomohito's offer, but soon finds that living in a house full of eccentric kotogami spirits isn't exactly the sweet deal she was hoping for. With no alternative, Akari resigns herself to cohabitating with her idiosyncratic new roommates. And so begins the heartwarming tale of the trials, new friendships, and blossoming romance of a hard-working young woman living in an age where the kotogami spirits 
walk among humans. I kind of dig the vibe of this. I kind of dig that it's a little bit retro. It's, it's not like modern day, but it's not fantasy medieval kind of vibe either, or even Renaissance. Uh, I, I like that whole spirits living alongside humanity kind of thing. Uh, uh, this just sounds like kind of a cool world type thing. Uh, you know, I can't escape. Uh, there's also, a, there's so many series where you have sort of a character, human character tending to spirits and stuff like that. And uh, I'm, I'm a pretty big sucker, I'll admit, for that kind of story. So I, I like the sound of this one and I, the art is beautiful on the cover too. So uh, this could be a cool one to check out. So those are the light novel series that are making their debut during the month of May 2021. Which ones do you want to check out? Which ones are you excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you want to check out all the light novels that are releasing in the month of May, there are obviously a ton of ongoing series that are getting new volumes released. Head on over to EnglishLightNovels.com to the pre-orders page and you can check that out. And it's not just May, I've got uh, several months worth of stuff. I'm constantly trying to keep it updated so that all of the releases coming ahead are available to check out on that page. In the meantime, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it that little bit of like and love. If you're brand new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell and so you don't miss anything and yada, 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 I know. You're all tired of YouTubers saying this kind of stuff, but let's face it, this is what YouTube forces us to do because YouTube is evil. No, it's not evil, they just, you know, their algorithm, it's all robotic and it loves to see videos that are getting likes and engagement and blah, blah, blah. That's why we're always bugging you to do it. I know. In any case, thank you so much for watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then. Bye-bye for now.